biggest questions kids are asking each other right now. What are you going to be for Halloween? What are you going to be for Halloween? Exactly. And while the costumes can be fun and cute, they also need to be safe. We have a great tips to keep in mind as well as a great way to celebrate Halloween safely at a unique destination. And we are joined now by uh, Donna and Julie. Donna would be right here and Julie is right here on the inside. Good morning to you both. Good morning. Good morning. Welcome. Welcome. So what would you say is the number one thing we need to take into consideration? We were talking about it earlier in the week. We said bright colors. Are we on the right track? Bright colors, just safety in general, mm -hmm. um, reflective things because of course it's nighttime. Right. So you want to have, we have examples that actually have some reflective, um, there are some sheets that are available mm -hmm. and it's, you know, enough for a whole family, maybe even a whole neighborhood because you just need a few on the back of a costume, even actually back all front over. all over the place. And those are just enough to kind of give that pop that you need to make sure you can see the kids from a distance, right? It's because of cars. Right. You know, right. pedestrian um, accidents on Halloween go up about four times. Wow. Yep. Wow. You know, think of all the kids on the street, maybe not, you know, in the, in the moment, not paying attention, darting across, not going to the crosswalk. And that so, kind of stuff. So, Julie, careful, what about careful. shoes? Careful. What do we need to think about with kids and the shoes that they're wearing when they're out trick-or-treating? Well, definitely comfortable shoes and um, the ones that have the light-up bottoms, mm -hmm. I, I think, think are a I great example. Madeline. Yep. Oh, but hers are covered uh, by her by her shoe her covers. Shoe. Oh, that's so cute. But something not flimsy. I mean, these, you, you know, we all know from walking on shoes like this that these aren't comfortable. They're Think of the rain. Mm -hmm. Add some water to these. They're slippery. Mm -hmm. So just a good pair of athletic shoes. Okay. That's Madeline and Colton. We'd like to thank them for being here this morning and, and raising awesome. our cuteness factor yes. about 11 on a scale <laughs> of 1 to 10. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. So what about putting the kids in car seats? I don't know if people are quite as diligent about being careful on the way to their destinations when it's Halloween. Well, and I think sometimes they are, but we don't take into consideration the thickness of the costume. Oh, okay. In the same way that we don't want kids in their... Um, winter coats or in their in you know we because and it's because of the of the compression factor even though we have them buckled in tight if they're in something that has volume mm -hmm. in an accident it'll it 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 gives mm -hmm. and then that that lag is actually what can let them come right out of those. Oh my goodness. Oh, look at this. They are adorable. A cuteness factor of 12 <laughs> now. I know. It's, it's threatening to break the needle. Uh, <laughs> tell us about the zoo, uh, Julie. Yes, yeah, so we have our annual Halloween extravaganza, Zoo Boo, which opens Friday and it runs for the next three weekends from five to eight. And we have the trick or treat trail. We have entertainment like the Zoo Boo Review, magicians, performers, a straw maze. Um, in the creepy craft tent and the kids can come out all dressed up in their costumes <laughs> for a real fun night. They can check out the haunted reptile house. Yeah, and uh, awesome. tickets are available now in advance right and it does oh, tend to sell out, guys. so we um, advise to purchase oh. them early. <laughs> no, be careful. <laughs> and it's a great, safe and controlled environment to let all of this go Let's down in, right? Just let them run wild. This is good TV. Absolutely. <laughs> all that energy. Randy, you got that stick microphone? Where did that go? Yeah. He's going to run over and get it. They are just too cute. As soon as they walked in, I was like, we all started to melt a careful, little bit. Guys. They're adorable. Colton, be careful. They're adorable. I, so we've got a fire chief and I think a kangaroo. All right. Good morning to you both. Hey, Colton. What's going on, buddy? What do you like about being a fire chief? He's like, yeah. He's like totally fixated on this car, uh, costume with Madeline. She's looking a, for candy down on the inside. That is so <laughs> cute. That is so cute. It's you tickling my belly. She said. <laughs> well, I think, like you said, the zoo boo extravaganza is the perfect place. I would feel, because I don't have kids, but when I'm with other people's kids, I like to make sure I'm in a place where I can keep things Here under comes control. Mom, mom to the bit. rescue. Yes. <laughs> So to learn more about the Zubu, everyone, go visit their website, Beaumont.org slash Zubu. All right, next on Live in the D, thank you for being here, yes, ladies. Thank and you thank so you, much. Colton and Madeline.